good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I think I'm actually at saying it five times now. Um, gone are the days of only saying it three times, um, unfortunately. So uh, I hope your morning is so good that hearing good morning five times uh, makes it even better, right? So who knows? So welcome, welcome, welcome. A uh, couple of updates. So we completed our audit on, um, on our automations. And what we found is the, the few rhinos who have not received um, their, their coin as a real-time uh, transaction, real-time delivery into the wallet, are those that have not inputted their wallet address in the dashboard. So as you know, when you sign into your account, there is a dashboard, right? Like you could change, you could adjust your plan amount. And oh, by the way, so within a week or two, okay, so let me let me rewind. Because the because the bot, because the automations are in real time, it produces a receipt. Now, of course, everyone is very um, it is very important to have a log of okay, I've you know, this is my cost basis. I purchased it at this price on this date um, and so forth, whether it be for your own records or, or tax time or whatever the case may be. Um, because the bot is in real time and produces receipts, we can then go ahead and repurpose those receipts into an account statement. In the next two weeks, when you sign into your dashboard, there'll be a button for account statement, in which case when you click that button, you'll get a a uh, nice orderly PDF file of all of your receipts and all of your transactions. Um, and it, it'll allow you to obviously know your cost basis is, um, whether you're profitable or whatever the case may be. But to actually have real account statements is a good thing. So that's coming. Um, but to get back to the bot. So, so yeah, thanks, Mike. Uh, thanks, Deb. Yeah, so sign into your uh, dashboard and there is a button for um, upload wallet address and you simply upload it like copy and paste it right because it's like 16 or 20 it's it's a crazy number you take it paste it and press um, submit or update or whatever you'll, you'll see the button there. Now, the tricky part is once you do that it tells you it's been saved, but it um, it disappears so that um, that that bar is blank again. And that's for um, security, right? Like you don't want your wallet address just hanging out there. But at the same point, it, it comes off a little confusing, right? Like I saved it, but it's not there. I did it again. It's not there. It's telling me it's safe, but I don't see it. Um, just know that it's saved. Um, so for those that did not receive the Rhino, that is why, which means of those, um, I have gone ahead and I'm manually sending it because the bot doesn't go backwards in time, right? So you miss that payment, which means I'm going to send it to you, which is fine. And then you collect every payment going forward. Um, there was one other weird thing, but we solved it. Um, so it actually is working the way it's supposed to. Everyone is getting exactly what they're supposed to get, which is a long time in the making and totally cool. So the bot is working. Um, secondly, Rhino Street's so much fun. I don't know if no one's gone on and done Ask Rhino or or Create Image, which I believe people have because I'm seeing the bill for it, right? Like I, I know that's being used, but I find myself using it all the time now. In fact, when I have an email to write or a thought to put together, I'll write it down and then I go to Rhino Street and I go rewrite uh, parentheses, copy and paste my sentence and it rewrites it perfectly. Like I never knew how bad at grammar I was until Rhino Street came into my life. That's, that's, that's odd, right? Like that's weird, it's a weird sentence to say. I didn't know how bad at grammar I was until I invented a search engine that tells me I'm bad at grammar. But um, it lets everyone else think I'm really good at grammar because it sends it over the way it's supposed to. So if you have not been on Rhino Street yet, you're really missing out, you should get there. Oh, cool, see, Frida knows. Um, so that's that. And then what else? Oh, so we went ahead and yesterday I built out, like I said in the email 10 steps, so it's, it was actually 14 steps when I looked at it today, uh, a 14 step email sequence for those that opt in. 
So anyone that is now going to the Rhino Street Lander page, like I said, we're starting this whole thing called marketing. Um, it's a really beautiful page. It has a great video, um, a lot of informative, um, you know, the problem, the solution, how Rhino Street solves it, stuff like that, and who our partners are. Um, so it's it's quite conceivable that somebody would say, yeah, I'll, I'll join for free. Like, why wouldn't I? Once they join, then they go into the sequence. So they get the confirmation email. Hey, you joined. You know, here's your, you know, make sure you, you um, make sure you go ahead and list your business. And then two days later, they'll get an email. Hey, if you didn't list your business, you should have. Um, if you did, well, why don't you suggest someone else to get listed? Like, um, you know, let someone else enjoy too. Two days later, hey, you want to know how Rhino Street's funded? Check out Rhino Bucks. A couple of days later, hey, um, the AI, have you have you seen it? Uh, you should definitely check it out if you hadn't yet. A few days later, and, and it just keeps going and going. The point being, um, well, A, we'll learn a lot, right? But B, those that opt into Rhino, we want to really, really nurture along the way and make sure that, you know, they, they know everything about Rhino. Um, they have the opportunity to uh, participate, uh, uh, you know, join us in conversation, email back, but also just kind of be all encompassing, right? Like a comprehensive relationship. So that has been built and it will be, um, I think I'm going to try to build a little bit more today. Um, maybe put some logic into it. Well, if this person does this, then that stuff like that. Hey, Anthony, sorry for the grammar. No one else could, could better in right. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Um, and then lastly, so let me let me get the link because if you're on this call, I want you. Oh come on, why do I always do that? Hold on a sec. Expand. Okay, sorry. Um, just bear with me. I know you can see me, but I can't see you because I only have one screen today, and I'm on a different page. But I got what I was looking for, and we're back. Okay, so to everyone. Okay, I'm putting a link in the chat. So lastly, that is the affiliates program, How to Share Rhino. Now, we have an RVP group, which everyone knows, and they collect salary uh, based on performance. And in the beginning, it was everyone just collects salary, but it's getting expensive, right? Like Rhino's going up every day. We had another all-time high of 227 today. Uh, only today I found where in Kartra I can find. Oh, cool. Great job, Frida. Um, so to just go ahead and give everyone 25 coin was, you know, it, it's not it's not responsible. That being said, there is performance, right? Like get and it's it's low bar. And I don't mean low bar as in like you're not working, but low bar is it's attainable. When I say low bar, I mean as a function of work ethic, not problem solving. Because problem solving, you could work your, you know, your tush off and not figure it out. But if something's work ethic, you can work your tush off and by default, you will have succeeded. So that being said, it's 140 visitors. Now, a visitor is someone you give the link to, your affiliate link, right? So the link I shared with you is for you to sign up. But when you go ahead and share, you know, and you'll get your own affiliate link, it'll, it'll be sent over to you when you get that link and you give it to someone and they say, wow, cool, you know what? Let me go check it out. They click it, that's logged as a visitor. You have produced one visitor. Now, when you email, say, 100 people a day, or you have a big list, or you have a lot of friends, or you put it in a Facebook group, or you start planting these things places, it's very easy to get a bunch of clicks. Each one of those clicks equals a visitor. Now, when you get 140 visitors, excuse me, you would have qualified. And that comes out to 20 a day. That's how that number came up. But you would have qualified, meaning you would receive your 25 rhino bucks for the week. Now, at the price Rhino Bucks is today, that's about $60 a week. That's not bad, right? Um, if, even if you're in the US and you have US dollars, you're still happy with that. But if you're in another country where US dollars is, is a, a luxury or, you know, because other currencies are going down, you'd be very happy with that. On top of that, every visitor that comes to the page is not like a complete do to do like they're going to take a look around. They didn't just click a button and say, oh, my God, I accidentally clicked a button. Maybe some will. But by someone clicking the button, they're saying, oh, OK, you have this. Let's check it out. Um, and they'll take a look around. And that's where the page really excels. It's beautiful. The video, the free opt in, it's right there. Um, and the form actually self populates. So, for instance, 
you know, when you go on, like you're paying something, your credit card and your computer remembers your card and you just gotta like approve it. Well, it's the same thing with the form. The, the computer obviously knows the person's first name and their email. So the person will see it self-populate and just press the button. When they press the button, that is logged as an opt-in. The person opted in. Now they're now in that whole email sequence I just shared with you, but you are now credited for an additional Rhino buck for every opt-in. So it is conceivable that if you have 140 visitors, you can have 140 opt-ins, right? In which case 140 plus 25 is 165 Rhino bucks, which comes out to like $400. Um, now there are some that say, wow, I, I love that. I'm gonna, I'm going to post this in every group. I have 100,000 email lists. I have this, 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 and this. Well, for those people, that's really good. You can make a lot of money very quickly. Um, How does it benefit Rhino? Well, we have a 14-step email sequence. So anyone that wants to learn more, that's consenting and is voluntarily being with Rhino, we're going to make sure that they're taken care of. And if they want to continue, great. If not, we thank them for the time they spent with us. Uh, what about if someone doesn't have an email list or doesn't have that many friends or doesn't know that many groups? Well, you could kind of figure it out. You could go on Twitter and plant the link on different hashtags. You could um, you could find emails. You could you could email. Everyone has an email, right? So you can go like, for instance, I did this the other day with Yahoo because um, that's my first email I ever had. And I was able to sort emails from oldest to newest, which meant I immediately saw emails that I sent in 2000, I think I got in like 2007, 2006, somewhere over there. And it was really cool. It was people I don't even talk to anymore. It was like pictures of like in college and stuff. Um, and it was really cool. So I was able to reach out to some people and say, hey, remember this picture? Remember this night? Blah. And um, the point being, could I then go back and, and email all those people? Hey, it's been a while. I haven't spoken to you. Um, I'm working on this this cool thing. You should definitely check it out. Um, but if nothing else, I just want to say hello. Uh, so two birds, one stone type of thing. Now, if the person doesn't respond, well, were you ever going to talk to them anyway? You weren't. If that person writes something back like, oh, get a life. Okay, I, I didn't even know you existed two minutes ago. But more times than not, you'll you know rekindle all relationships. And again, Rhino isn't something where you're you're like, hey, if you click this link, you could buy a pet rock for a million dollars. It's a free thing. It's a search engine. In fact, they could go check their gram every day. So you're offering something of value. So the person, A, liked you at some point, and B, you're offering something that they're going to like, which equals C, a good idea, right? And get paid for it. Why not? Are those emails available to the affiliates? Are those emails? I don't know what emails you're talking about. Oh, kind of like... um. Like, like, like copy, like to offer you what the email should look like. Is that what you're talking about? Of course, if you are, I'm gonna show you something super cool. Oh, the four, yeah, yeah. So that any person that opts in automatically goes through those sequences. Um, so once you have them opt in, your, 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 the person you bring in is automatically grandfathered in. So the answer is yes. But let me show you something cool, right? So before I show you something cool, I got to do something. Um, okay. So I copy and paste this uh, because I, I did it yesterday. So I'm going to share a screen with you. So a lot of times people ask me, hey, Ant, do you have, um, do you have like email copy? Like, what should I write to people if I'm doing these emails? Like, and I get it. That, that makes sense. Let me just move some stuff over. Okay. Um, so let me show you how you could get really good email copy really easily. And of course I go to Rhino Street because it's the smartest thing I know. So I'm copying and pasting this. Um, but let me show you what it says. Okay, well actually you'll just see it. So you'll see what I wrote because it's gonna come out uh, where it's, you'll see more of it. Come on Rhino. All right, write a cold outbound email to a prospective customer. The product I'm trying to sell is Rhino Street, local search engine, the first not-for-profit search engine to protect local businesses from data tracking and marketing ads of giant corporations. I'm asking Rhino Street to write me an outbound email to a prospective customer that has never heard from me. Look what Rhino Street offers me. Subject, a new way to support local businesses. This is the email. Dear prospective customer, so dear Ted, right? 
Are you looking for a way to support local businesses in your community? At Rhino Street, we believe that local businesses should be protected from the data tracking and marketing ads of giant corporations. That's why we create the first not-for-profit search engine to do just that. Our search engine is designed to help local businesses get the visibility they need to succeed. We provide a platform for businesses to list their services and products, and we make sure that their information is secure and protected. We believe that local businesses are the backbone of our communities, and we want to help them thrive. With Rhino Street, you can do your part to support local businesses and help them succeed. If you're interested in learning more about Rhino Street and how it can help your local businesses, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Sincerely, Bob, right? Um, now, if you don't think that's like the coolest thing in the world, then I don't really know what to tell you. To me, I think that's so cool. The point being, if you went back into your emails and you saw Ted that you haven't seen since 2006 and you wanted to email them, well, that'd be a really great email to email them, right? And in that email at the end of it, you would go ahead and put that affiliate link. Meaning, more times than not, Ted is going to say, oh, well, this is a really nice email. This makes sense. I, I understand what they're saying. Let me click and learn more. Now you have a visitor. Upon Ted reaching the page, he might say, oh, wow, this is all great. Now, mind you, if I was able to create that email in less than 10 seconds using our software, I can promise you the page is going to is really well thought out and really good too. Now he says, okay, let me let me opt in. This seems totally cool. Bingo, bango. You know, you got it. I haven't said bingo, bango, and God, I, I, I probably shouldn't ever again. Is the translator working yet? The translator. I don't know what the translator is. Um, Deb, what do you mean translator? I, we don't have a translator. So what I can tell you is these videos have transcripts. Uh, you could transcribe them so that people could read it. Uh, we don't have a translator in the sense that um, language translator. So I bet you, so, all right, so let's do something. I'm gonna do share screen again. Okay. So Rhino Street being a search engine doesn't have much to translate, right? Like here's the name of the company, search local, ask Rhino, Rhino image. That's that. Now, if you wanted to translate something, right? So, um, so I'm gonna copy and paste what I just did. Um, and I'm going to, what did I just say? Okay. And write it in French. So let's see what happens. Come on, Rhino. Okay. So if you want to translate what I just did in French, just ask Rhino to do it. So I guess the answer is yes, I do have a translator um, because we developed a lot of stuff. So everything we just wrote is now in French. You can copy and paste that and have a nice, beautiful French email. I hope that answers your question. So you are saying that you are not requiring corporate quality control over the invite emails. Interesting. Yeah, I, I well, a couple of things. Your emails are coming from you. So if you don't write a good email, you're to blame. And I don't mean to blame, but like, if somebody says, well, I got this email from Dr. Smith and it said Rhino Street is gonna give me a million dollars. I would say, well, who said that? Oh, Dr. Smith. Does Dr. Smith work for Rhino Street? Does, no. And you decide to just believe him without, you know, confirming that. Yes. Well, I'm sorry. Um, this is a lesson in life. Uh, you should do better. <laughs> right? Like, so because your emails are coming from you, I don't need to be so on top of it. And plus, everyone in Rhino is like, at this point, I've met everyone. And I know the people that are here. I don't think anyone here has malintent. So write what you want. Be honest, be ethical. And the link that you're sending them to is our asset, right? Like it's my video. It's me talking. It's text that we wrote. So if Dr. Smith said, hey, listen, you could get a million dollars with Rhino by going to it, they would go to the page and they would say, it, it clearly doesn't say that. Uh, Dr. Smith, he tricked me. He got me to be a visitor, right? Um, yeah, no, I, I, like everything with Rhino, I really have always believed it's it's community owned. Like everyone just do your best and we'll find solutions together. Oh, cool, Stevan, how cool is that? 
Um, perfect. That's what I need. All right. Woo. Um, and Jill, don't have too much fun with it, please, because the bill runs up, but have some fun with it, right? Like, don't ask it to make you a French script like three times, just copy and paste the one. All right, I'm 10 minutes over. Let me run if I sounded a little slow today. Um, I just feel like a little foggy. I don't, I don't know why. Um, I think at some point I might need to take a break, but not today. Time to get to work. Um, so you are my young Padawan on the 21st century hippie man. You know what? Sounds great. I will be that for you, Dr. Smith. I will be whatever you need me to be. So love everyone. Have so much fun. Get get um, enrolled. Like get going with the affiliate stuff, please. Um, next week, I think I'm going to. I've, I've been saying, um, really participate and do it live and in front of everyone for everyone to participate with me. And let's see what we can do. But love everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.